Hey, it's time for today's Monday Morning Moment, broadcast from the cab of a truck. Today we're going to look at John chapter 1, verses 15 through 17. Um, John, talking about Jesus Christ, says, verse 15, John bare witness of him and cried, saying, This was he whom I spake. He that cometh after me is preferred before me, for he was before me. And of his fullness have we all received, and grace for grace. For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. Now, I want to talk to you a little bit about what John says in there about the law and grace. Jesus Christ came to uh, free us from the bonds of the law. And the Pharisees, the Sadducees, the religious leaders of that day, they thought that Jesus was trying to destroy the law. But that wasn't the case at all. What Jesus was doing was he was fulfilling the law. Let me explain what I'm talking about. Jesus wasn't going to destroy the law. The law is necessary and good. Jesus wanted everyone to know that, yes, the law is good, but the law can't get you to heaven. It cannot. The law is good for helping you to know that you've done wrong things. How would you know something is wrong unless you've been told that that, that particular action is wrong? You can't. And that's what the law does for us. It lets us know that certain things are wrong and should be avoided. And so... John here was testifying that the law was good, but that gave us only, he said, uh, the law was given by Moses. And Moses gave us that law f straight from God so that we could know that certain things are wrong. Jesus came to fulfill the law, to give us something the law could never give us. And that was forgiveness for those wrong things. Redemption from the punishment that breaking the law brings. The Bible tells us all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The Bible also tells us that in, in Adam, wherefore as by one man sin entered the world and death by sin... So death passed upon all men, for all have sinned. So through that sin, sin is breaking the law. Through that sin, we gain for ourselves punishment, death. Jesus brought for us grace and truth. That grace is uh, not getting, some, or getting something that we don't deserve. That's what grace is. Jesus gives us heaven, which we don't deserve. And he gives us mercy, and that's not getting something we do deserve. So, Jesus came to give us grace and truth. He came to fulfill the law. I hope I've shed a little bit of light on that for you. Just remember that you can't know something is wrong unless you're told, right? Like, my children didn't know playing in the road was wrong, so I had to help them. I had to tell them, no, 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 that can hurt you. You can't do that. Now they know if they go in the road, not only will they get hurt, but they'll also be punished because they're breaking that law of their daddy. So the law shows us that those are wrong things. Jesus came to give us freedom from the law, forgiveness from the punishment of the law. If you've never asked Jesus to come into your heart, be your Savior, forgive you of those wrong things you've done, you can do that. The Bible says Jesus loves us so much. It tells us in John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that's Jesus, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. You can know him today. I trust you'll give your life to him.